Hi guys, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. And today we're going to talk about hooking up a sine wave inverter, a power inverter, to your battery bank. And this is a very simple job, but there's one thing you should keep in mind that's very important. Use the biggest, thickest, fattest wires that you can find and have the shortest possible distance between your power inverter and your battery bank. This is extremely important because the inverter has the ability to pull a very massive amount of current out of your batteries so you're going to need to be able to provide that much current and thinner wires are not able to provide that much current, are not able to, thinner wires like this, this is a, um, what gauge is this? It says on there somewhere, this was a jumper cable it doesn't show me what gauge, but um, might be a, a six gauge wire. Um, too small for heavy duty applications. Going to be fine for this inverter for running lights and simple stuff inside my electronics lab. But if you had a bigger power inverter, which we'll get to in a future video, then you need super, super thick wires. But for now, very simple. I'm going to hook up a positive wire, which is marked positive here on the uh, wire itself to the positive of the inverter and then a negative wire which is black and that goes to the negative terminal of the inverter. Red is generally marked plus and minus is generally marked uh, and is generally uh, indicated with black. Okay so we've got red for plus, black for minus. In this case this was a black and white on the jumper cables, but they labeled it very clearly with positive all over the place in red though for you. So I'm going to connect this up. I uh, am holding my camera by hand, so we'll be back in a minute here. Uh, maybe I can try to mount this. Let me see if I can set it up on the table and have you watch at close range. Um, just like that, okay? So I'm simply just going to remove the nut here. All right. And um, people tell you to connect the ground first or the positive first. Um, different people are going to tell you different things. In this case today I'm going to connect the negative first and then the positive. Now you're going to get a little bit of a zap, a, a snap of a spark when you connect the, uh, the other wire. All right. So there's the negative hooked up to my battery bank. And I already had that connected to the batteries. And there should be a little spark. Yeah, dose was a tiny spark. It's a little inverter. So connect the positive to the batteries. Okay. And power inverter should be working nicely. You may notice I don't have any rings on my hands um, or any jewelry at this time because of the danger of working with electricity and jewelry. So I'm going to move him to the far back corner of my workbench for now. And later, I'm going to mount him on a wall plate here under my uh, charge controllers and electronics. But he should work now, happily. There we have power. Power on. And, um, actually, I can plug in my cell phone right now and see if it charges on here. Because I should now have power coming out. And we'll find some something to hook in there and, and uh, try the AC power out. So, we'll be back in a minute. Actually, I just connected up a uh, USB battery pack from Thrunight to charge on my uh, power inverter. And he's happily blinking and taking a charge off the USB output of my, uh, my inverter, so that's good. Now I'm going to find some, something to plug into the AC and check that out. And uh, we'll have power in my off-grid shed here. I have a um, battery charger from Banggood and it's showing 100% charge of my battery, so bad example. I was going to plug this in to charge my little battery. Let me see what happens when I plug it in anyway. It should show that we have power. Oh yeah, there we go. So, it shows it's it, what it's doing is trickle charging the battery. It went up from 12 and a half volts to 14.3, so it's probably trickle charging. This is a fully fully automatic battery charger from Banggood, 
and as soon as I plugged it in the battery voltage jumped up to 14.3 so it's probably doing its job there and uh, maintaining the battery so there we have power in the off-grid shed here got my batteries down below got my workbench I got the Q3 generator here from Quanta and I got my solar charge controllers and electronics we've got power in the shed and there's how you hook up a inverter very very simple just the most important thing is to make sure you use the biggest uh, the, the, the thickest wires and the shortest run between the inverter and your batteries that's the most important thing and just be careful and don't wear any jewelry that could uh, short out any leads and cause a lot of pain Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project.